This is an imaginary opening theme song. Theme song. Oh. Hey there, how's it going? Hope you're having a, you know, a good day, a good night, whatever it is, or having like a nice cake or something, you know, or drinking something nice. Who knows what it is? But whatever it is, you know, what is one of the things that you think about when you look at people? Is there age, isn't it? Yes, you're, when you look at random people in the street sometimes, if your eyes come across each other, you know, and then you're all like, okay, how old are you? I must know, I must guess. How accurate do you think you are? Because apparently right now, uh, Gen Z is aging and they're aging way past what they should look like, apparently. And if you're like me, you don't know what age group Gen Z is. Apparently, it's between 1997 and 2012, sort of. So it's like the 12-year-olds to 27-year-olds as of now. And when not... Which is funny, because I always thought that uh, 2000 and plus people... I mean, the people that were born in 2000 and... Uh, after that, were called Millennials. But then now this chart I'm looking at shows that Millennials are 1981 to 1996. So the 28 years old to the 43 year olds right now are millennials. I, d I don't know. Do I care really? Not really, but you know, I don't, I don't know. So basically people that are, you know, like going into their teenage years and like young adults uh, counting years and whatnot, because 27 is still not really that old if you think about it. I mean, 40 isn't even old if you think about it, you know, like with our life expense, Expense, expense. <laughs> with life expectancy, uh, you know, like being the average for some like 80 or 100, you know, it's like, hey, you still got a way to go. Who knows, right? But yeah, let's see what is happening with Gen Z and why are they panicking all of a sudden that they're old now, blah, blah, blah. Apparently, Gen Z is like aging really rapidly. It is mainly because of the stress. Come here. We live in a time nowadays where millennials look way younger for their age, while Gen Z looks way older for... Okay, so basically he's saying people that are 28 to 43 are looking much younger compared to people that are in their early 20s. And it's due age. to stress. Don't believe me, I'm Gen Z. Get closer. I am Gen Z and nobody ever believes me. When my mom and I walk out in public, people think that my mom is my younger sister. Right? Mm -hmm. When I tell people, oh, I'm gonna go hang out with my family, they think I'm talking about my children. I don't have kids, right? I'm talking about my parents. I'm still the child. Does that make sense? I'll, I'll put mm -hmm. it to you like this. Zendaya is older than me. Tom Holland is older than me. That's yeah, and, and just just for reference sake, both of the names he just said, they're 27 years old right now, and he's younger than 27, is what he's saying. Do you, you know what I'm saying right now? There was one time I wanted an autograph from Dwayne The Rock Johnson, right? I was standing for hours for this autograph, and when he walked up to me, I mm -hmm. said, can you please sign this poster? It's for Jordan, right? He then took it and put, Dear Jordan, your dad is a great guy. He stood out here for hours and then gave it back to me. And before I can correct him, he looked at me and said, times were way more difficult back when we were kids. Am I right? And then he tapped my shoulder and left. And, uh, Dwayne is 52. Uh -huh. I am 26. Do you, what, what I'm saying is, so Gen Z definitely looks older. I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah, so he's 26 years old and he's panicking because he's he looks much older uh, compared to like, other 27 year olds because the two names he first said right though those two are right now 27 year old and he looks older than Mark. at least he gets mixed up with other people to think that uh, he's older or something right like 26 like if you ask me how old do I think this guy looks it's not that he looks like very old I would say it's just more like, um, like even the glasses is not like the glasses are like doing anything to age him up really because you know sometimes people look much uh, different with the glasses on and uh, versus off and stuff like that. But no, like I mean, if if he didn't tell me what his age was, I would have guessed like maybe closer to thirty. So I would have, you know, I wouldn't like call him like very old, but I would 
probably guess he was around that age, but uh, you know, you gotta understand also, some people are very terrible at age guessing, you know? Very terrible, like there's no other way to say it. Also, people either de-age you or increase your age for whatever reason, either because they can't tell if you are old or like they don't really know what else to say, so they just say a random number or whatever comes to their mind. Who knows? And when I'm like, yeah, let's see another person panicking over this, shall we? I was humbled so quick tonight. I was on live with my boyfriend and someone was like, how old's your girlfriend? And John jokingly responds, 47. And the girl comments, mm -hmm. oh, I thought she was early 30s. Mm -hmm. I am 23. I mean, if she actually was 47 and someone and, you know, the boyfriend was all like, ha ha ha, 47, you know? If if she was actually that, she would take that as a compliment. But, you know, like, she did not like the fact that the girl thought she was early 30s. I mean, if you ask me, like, what her age was, honestly, I wouldn't guess anything above 25. But that would be just me. You know, because, like... Whether whatever it is, like her with her hairstyles or the way she looks and so I would not guess anything above 25, so I don't know. But also, maybe they know a lot of good looking 30 year olds and they were all like, I, you know? Or maybe she just doesn't like you and she just wanted to say whatever age or whatnot. Wow, Gen Z really is aging like milk. 23, to be honest with you, I would say mid 30s and. I guess if somebody said their 40s, I, I'd be inclined to believe it. I think that the intense... Ad Again, I, I don't... I would not call her, like, early 30s, like I said. If, if I saw her, I would have said, like, at most 25. But, you know, the fact that they think early 30s would have worked for her as well, I, I don't know. It just depends on what the perception is for other people, depending on the age, I suppose. Addiction to makeup. Uh, in young women's lives, um, filters, and I guess all this made up stress. Because essentially, Gen Z has grown up in the simplest times ever in this world, and they complain more than anybody has ever complained, probably in history. I guess that takes it out on you. I guess it artificially ages you. Leave a like on this video and give it a share or a follow to hear what other people think. I did not understand the last part of the honestly my brain just went like huh what are you even saying dude you know because he's all like they're complaining the most out of anyone in history i mean people always complain like 20 years ago if you heard someone in their 30s you think they wouldn't complain or like you think the 20 like people always complain what what, what do you what do you mean like you know it's just like within time the whatever we're complaining about might have changed and whatnot but also like people always complain right like the current 60 year olds you think when they were like 20 they weren't complaining about anything like even teenagers are known specifically to complain about stuff and also you know like sure from all the knowledge we have and whatnot and if you look through everything you might think they have it's the easiest but also the like it's harder and harder for people to buy their own houses uh, like find jobs and all that so again it's not like we're in the easiest times either in a way so i don't know i just didn't understand like the end of that also why would you even say she's like mid 30s i don't know like nothing of her screams like she would be like way way older and, and uh, by the way there's nothing wrong with being in that age or anything I don't know, just sometimes people are very bad at telling age, you know, but for her, I, would, I wouldn't say that. She, I don't know. Also, why does everyone always blame everything on makeup? <laughs> Not everyone that uses makeup uses it heavily, and yes, if you use heavy makeup, um, the you before you use the makeup and the you during the makeup does look uh, relatively different. Like, I've seen people that like once they remove their makeup they look a little like more different but like i could tell it was them right but i could still see like the difference but that's because they had like a lot of foundation on them and all that stuff like there was a lot of heavy makeup going on to them and stuff like that but people use makeup because they want to should they be using like a ton of makeup probably not but you know it's whatever they prefer and whatever they're comfortable with. It's your choice, basically. 
and stuff, so I don't understand that comment either. <laughs> okay, so now let's look at this person, shall we? Respectfully, you look like you're pushing 45. Stop getting filler or Botox, whatever you have. It looks so bad. 45? I get like, okay, maybe like late 20s, 30s. I mean, I wouldn't say 45, yeah, honestly, but... When I first started TikTok and started making filler videos, like, come get filler with me or Botox, I used to get these hate comments all the time. There's just people on TikTok that absolutely hate cosmetic procedures mm -hmm. and believe that you shouldn't get them. And again, I think it's a personal well. preference. Like, if I want to get filler, I feel like... Yeah, that, that is true. Yes, if you want to get filler, that's your decision, you know, but of course, if you're going to do it, please do uh, look up what it means to actually get it, what the effects are on you and know that you cannot just like simply uh, wash your face and the filler is gone unless it's a very, very bad filler and then it just falls off for no reason. But then again, like, that would be very bad luck for you. No one should stop you from getting filler because it's your own face but people always told me that i look older and i get it i look older i might act older um mm -hmm. but 45 and before i used to cry over these comments and used to delete i mean i feel like when someone said to her you look like 45 i mean may maybe they just thought she resembled um so much like the people on milf manor you know the mothers there I don't know, she, maybe, who knows? Who knows what people watch? And block the account, but now I'm just like, I just laugh at it because I know it's not true. <laughs> um, but I do respect your opinion. Respect. Mm -hmm. I mean, either way, someone's going to say something about anyone. For me, she looks like she's in her 20s, sure. Okay, so the thing about getting fillers and all that, right? Like, just and botox and whatnot right do your own research please know what the effects are uh how lasting it is it is altering you in some way shape or form which is i mean why you do it but also know that you can't just simply like snap your fingers and then wish it's back to uh, back to how you used to look and whatnot and stuff like that right like that's not how stuff works okay but also i just want to say that I don't know, like, so some people, I think Jordan, I think the first dude, like, was very emotional. <laughs> and, like, he's had enough of people assuming that he's way older than he is. But again, like, dude, people will either age you up uh, older or younger. It just depends on their own perspective. Some are terrible at guessing ages. Some just say whatever comes to their mind. They don't really care either way because even if they're wrong and guessing your age like what's gonna happen to them nothing you know but yeah that's don't just don't hyper fixate on when people say you look older than what your actual age is just don't hyper fixate on that honestly because like you know they might have said that but they they might be saying other stuff to other people as well you don't know you don't know how good they are at guessing people's ages like some people are terrible honestly they are and they'll say whatever they want and stuff like that. But I don't think, even in these, uh, even in the examples, right? I don't think anyone was like very, very old or stuff like that. I just think that some of them just got like a backhanded uh, comment or something. And then it just, and they got like a few of them maybe. Or like just the backhanded comment was just like stuck with them a little bit. And then they're all like, huh. Huh. I don't think it's anything really like alarming or something like that but you know do know what you're doing to yourself just go on your day just go go touch some grass just you know it's fine it's fine it's not it's not that important you know you know how old you are doesn't matter how old other people think you are at the end of the day it's like eh, whatever just, just live the way how you want to do whatever and yada 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 but what did you guys think did they look uh, really old or something because I don't think any of the examples actually looked pretty old but then people are like spiking it like it's something to be s concerned about but like I, I don't think it is so I'm just all like hmm you know 
Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts or anything like that. Please do subscribe if you want to. It's free, you know? And, uh, you know, take care of yourselves, guys. Wherever you are, actually take care of yourselves, okay? Like, uh, sleep when you need to, eat when you need to, hydrate when you need to. And I'll see you wherever that is. In whatever shape and form. But yeah, but for now, bye-bye, bye-bye. Take care, take care.